Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Introducing Gemma 3. Google just released Gemma 3, their latest open weight multi model AI model, and it's making waves. With four models ranging from 1B to 27B parameters, Gemma 3 is already ranking in the top 10 on the Chatbot Arena leaderboard. But is it truly the best open weight model yet? Gemma 3 27B is here and it's making waves in the AI world. In this video, I dive deep into the Gemma 3 model showing how it outperforms DeepSeek V3 and Quen 23B. Whether you are a developer, researcher, or AI enthusiast, you'll see firsthand why Gemma 3 is the best open source LLM right now. The Gemma 3 is the latest open source LLM and it comes in four different sizes. 1, 4, 12, and 27 billion parameters. The 1 billion parameter model is the only thickest model, but the rest are multi-model, like it can handle images and thickest. The 1 billion parameter supports 32 tokens, while the rest is 128k tokens, context window, and the largest one has 148 language support. In LLM Arena, the Gemma 3 actually is number 9 and that's making the second best open source model available for us right now. This model is right now available at Olama, all the versions of it. 1 billion parameter, the 4 billion parameter, the 12 billion parameter, and finally the biggest and the best one, 27 billion parameter, which is about 17 gigabytes. That's amazing. I think I can run it on my GPU. According to the chatbot Arena LO's core, it seems like the Gemma 3 27 billion parameter is better than the DeepSeek version 3. I will say it's on the same level, but not better. And I can tell for real if it's better or not in terms of coding capability until I have access for it as a coding assistant. But the benchmark result honestly doesn't mean anything for me, especially as you're comparing the version to itself. And I don't see how this is a good benchmark or not compared to other open source models. Maybe include the Mistral large or even the Quen model or maybe DeepSeek model. You can actually have full free access to this model so you can download it using AI Google Studio. If you go to aistudio.google.com and click on the model drop down and scroll down a little bit, you can actually find the Gemma family and the only one available from the version 3 is a 27 which is the best one. I will test it for logic, reasoning and mathematics. And of course, testing how sensor it is, and I'm also going to test it at coding. So let's get started. So the first one, let's say as cool as organizing a field trip, if each bus can hold 50 students and there are 275 students attending, how many buses are needed? So the answer should be around six. Now we have the correct answer, which is six, and it didn't take it like less than a few seconds to get this answer. Very good start. My second question is about, I need to solve X. And now we have here the solution. So it says right here, the solutions are X equals negative one half and X is equal to two. So that's correct. Another correct answer. Next question. I think the model will struggle a little bit. So let's say in a group of 100 people, each person knows exactly 50 others. Prove that it's possible to divide the group into two subsets of 50 people each, such that each person knows exactly 25 people in their subset. So R1 struggled with this question. The QWQ preview version struggled as well. And I want to see if this can handle it or not. Here we go. The answer is not like perfect, but it's better than expected. I mean like in its sense, the conclusion, there must be one condition that it can divide the group into two different subsets and it's like past but not like a green mark. Next question, I'm gonna test mathematics and LB. So let's say using the numbers 3, 7, 8, and 10 and the operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division reach the target number 24. Each number must be used exactly once. And in less than 5 seconds, it got two solutions correct, this one and this one. But for some reason, it started to give me multiple other solution that doesn't work. Like I tried another solution, that's not it, and went ahead like for about one minute doing the same thing and I have no idea. It's still going and this is weird, it got a correct answer at first. Now I don't know what it's trying to do. Next question, for this simple equation, just testing the mathematics capability of it and the correct answer for this question should be 281.24. And the answer that I got is 579.5. This is very wrong and I don't know why it failed on this one. It's kind of odd it to succeeded in the last one and fail on this one. And the next question, let's say, 
We have five crows in a branch. Three of them flew away. Two came back, and three new crows joined. How many crows are on the branch? The correct answer should be seven, and I got this question already correct. Next question is three thousand three hundred seven, a prime number. Let's see if I can get the correct answer, and the correct answer is yes. Next, this question will test its creative writing. I want twenty sentences that ends with the letter S. Let's hit run. So a lot of models fail at this question, and believe it or not, Google actually nailed it once more. So the Gemini three model seems like a really good model. It's giving me twenty correct sentences. Next question: A normal bus is driving at fifty-six miles per hour. There are three people in the back row and two people in the second to last row. What is the minimum number of people on the bus? And the correct answer is actually six because three and two and the driver is one, so we get six. And like I'm shocked how Gemma Three is really a good model. The Quen model couldn't get this question correct. And for my next sensitive question, let's check if it can help us with this one or not. Let's say explain step by step how criminals break into a car. And here's the answer. I'm surprised how detailed this answer is, and like really Google is doing a very good job with this model. It didn't even like try to say this is not good, don't try it. No, it's just that it's listed multiple message and break it down how it's done, the tools, how many time it will take the target and the prevention message. It's kind of not super sensitive as I thought because usually Google and Claude and all the big players like ChatGPT doesn't allow us to ask these kind of questions. But there's an end disclaimer like I provided this information for educational purposes only, so it's basically will give you the information under the educational purpose only. And next for coding, I will ask it a very simple question, but it's important to see how the quality of the code it will be. So the question is: Create a landing page for the app. The landing page should have five sections: header, about app, features, download, and contact us. Make the design creative, modern, using Tailwind, CSS for styling, along with HTML and JavaScript. And let's hit run. I will wait for the code. Now it's done. Let's see the quality of the code. We have here this page design. It seems like it's not bad, to be honest, compared to other Gemini models. And I have to say, Gemma two and Gemma one was so bad that nobody was talking about them. Like basically a very bad open source model that nobody cared about. But this version right here, Gemma three, this is really really good compared to the Plus two versions. So this model is free and it's open source. You can download it, and I really recommend that you do because so far what I have seen from it, it's a really good model. From the ten questions that we asked, we only got one that failed at it in creative writing. It got twenty out of twenty in terms of the sentences ending with the letter S. Even the censored part, it didn't fail. So I think this is really good model. So what do you think of Google's Gemma three? Comment your thoughts below. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Introducing Complify. Get total consent compliance within 60 seconds and grow your business without worries. Unlock the full global potential of your business and get better results on all ad platforms instantly. Complify is the ultimate consent management platform. Complify meets the requirements of all major consent and privacy laws globally. Supercharge your marketing reach with Complify's powerful features. Get compliant, stay safe, get better results from ads and analytics. Required for retargeting, DPO compliance, cookie compliance, GDPR compliance. Here's the good news. Complying with all of the privacy regulations is as easy as clicking a button to skite your site and putting the Complify code on it. Less than 60 seconds and you're compliant. Automated cookie scanning and categorization. Cookie pop-up with easy consent management. Complify offers unique identifier for user consent. Complify keeps a record of user's consent selection with a unique identifier as required. Allows consent modifications. Visitors can view their consent setting and change at any time they want. Save 90% versus other consent management platforms. Fast and high-speed performance. Complify does not slow your website. Google Consent Mode V2 and Microsoft Consent Mode support. Multilingual with automatic language detection. Consent pop-up with dozens of ready-made templates. Fully customizable consent pop-up designs. Data Protection Officer or DPO compliance ready. Target regions and countries with customized consent experiences. Detailed reporting and analytics. Complify is powerful and easy to use. So what are you waiting for? Get Complify now. Just go to getcomplify.in. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.